Hey, everybody. Best day ever. <laughs> oh, that skull is, is, is a bleeding. I have to take out my, my iPod. Your iPod? My oh, first Gen generation. Your oh. first Gen iPod. You don't have a name? Actually, it's second because it ended the wheel on it. Uh, I'm Dr. Mark Atala, and I want to welcome you to my home. Uh, today, we're all dressed for Halloween, and we're discussing scary topics in psychology, and just scary topics in general. But I thought it would be fun. Today, we're going to talk about what movies have most, have most frightened us. But maybe we could start by everyone introducing themselves. And did I understand I'm dressed like Steve Jobs? Okay, good. If you hadn't figured that out. <laughs> Zach, why don't you explain this? Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm dressed like David S. Pumpkins. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm dressed as a part of a middle school sex ed talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Will. I'm Clint Eastwood from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I'm Ashley, and I'm dressed as a celestial witch. <laughs> I'm Annie, and I'm dressed as Annie as a pumpkin. Outstanding. Very good. Well, uh, we all like movies. And I don't think anybody's most frightening is going to be the Charlie Brown Halloween special. The, what is it? It's the what pumpkin? It's a great, it's a great, great pumpkin. pumpkin. Right. That's Charlie actually Brown. the scariest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> well, who would like this to get, who would like to get started? Night for you. <laughs> is it mirrors? Um, <laughs> who would like to start us out with their, the movie scares them the most? Mm -hmm. Or the most frightening movie you've ever seen? I love scary movies. Please. I love them, but I'm not gonna go like the most scariest to date. I'm just gonna go like the first time I watch like the like a scary of movie. Yeah. Um, the first like actual like scary scary movie I watched, um, it was either in like sixth grade or something like that. And I don't know if you guys have seen the movie. Probably will has. <laughs> um, Devil. No. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. So have you it's, seen it? Uh. -uh. Okay. It's essentially these like strangers get locked in an elevator together. Uh -huh. And, um, like, all these bad things are happening kind of, like, outside the elevator, but also, it, like, they're trying to, like, figure out how to get these people out. But, like, while they're in the elevator, like, scary things will happen, and then the lights will turn off, and then they'll turn back on, and then, like, one of the people will be dead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, like... So it's like Sartre's No Exit, except people are dying. Y yeah. I don't... <laughs> I've never seen that movie, but oh, I'm just going to say okay. yeah. <laughs> Is it well? <laughs> but, um, so... It's really not that scary. Like, I watched it, like, a couple months ago, and I was like, oh, why did this even scare me? But, like, it was, like, sixth grade, like, yeah. first, like, scary movie I ever watched. I was like, oh, my God, I can never get in an elevator again. <laughs> so what is this film called? Devil. It's produced so, by Shyamalan. Oh, okay. Shyamalan, yeah. So, so first one <laughs> is Devil. Devil. Who else would like to, who would like to go quality. next? Well, go oh, ahead. I was going to go last. Okay. Oh, you want to go last? I okay. I want to go last. I'll, well, I'll go next then. Uh, and Will's already heard this. My yes. scariest movie when I was in high school, uh, the movie Evil Dead, because mm -hmm. there are, it's Sam Raimi, is that oh, who made so that great. film? so great, yes. And it's so, it's got like crazy scenes in it, like someone's in the, like they have a uh, basement thing with a cell. A cellar with a, what would you call it, a trap door it's a trap on it? door, yeah. And they're banging on it, trying to get out. And we're like, holy mackerel, this is like... I thought it was frightening at the time. Yeah. Uh, and it's creepy because, like, people get stabbed and then they're like... It's mm. just, so that's something to check out. So that's my scary movie. Oh, you were going to talk about Cabin in the Woods? Well, I think Cabin in the Woods is the best horror movie. Uh, you can tell Will and I talk about film. Um, but yeah, I think I think Cabin in the Woods because it, it has an understanding of the genre and uh, kind of goes off of that. But mm -hmm. who would like to go next with their scary film? I can go next because Will's um, going last. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't watch a lot of scary movies. Just in the recent few years, I uh -huh. started because um, I do get scared very easily. Oh yeah. Um, right now, I'm in the middle of watching the Saw movies. I just watched Saw <laughs> four last night. Um, they're, they're just very gory to me. <laughs> yeah, I've never they're seen gruesome. them. They're just gross. Yeah, they're so, not really scary. Yeah, they're just so that's, films. But I think, I think the movie that I've seen that's like kind of like messed me up the most is The Blair Witch Project. I know oh. it's kind of like a classic, 
the old one, like the 99, I think. Yeah, one. yeah. Yeah, I just, I actually just went to a theater and saw it like on a big screen. It was, mm -hmm. it was cool. Um, but um, I like live, my house is right next to the woods and I really like going into the woods and just like exploring in general, like in open areas and stuff. So just like the thought of like getting like stuck there. It's rude now. It's so terrifying. And so like every time I go somewhere that like kind of resembles that movie, I just like think about it. I'm just like, oh. Oh my gosh yeah. or like an abandoned house or anything mm -hmm. like that like if somebody's like standing in a corner like mm -mm. that's scary stuff yeah. so we've got devil evil dead blair witch project, blair witch project. Mm -hmm. who'd like to go next um, oh, i just had it i lost it again You're okay well, let's go to let's go to zach yeah uh, like annie i generally have just avoided horror movies pathologically <laughs> Although I did watch Insidious a couple weeks ago, and that was basically a joke, so maybe <laughs> maybe was not correct in that. So I haven't really seen any horror movies, but um, Inconvenient Truth. <laughs> That's a scary movie. That's a very good point. Very good, and, and an existential threat. Ashley, what would you like to tell us about? So when I was little, I loved The Little Mermaid so much. Like I was The Little Mermaid. Is that scary? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> let, me, okay. Let, me, let me get there. I loved Disney's The Little Mermaid so much. And um, I, like, I was The Little Mermaid for seven years in a row for wow. Halloween. Like, from the moment that I could talk, I was like, I want to be Ariel. You know? I was obsessed. One day, when I was eight, I went to my grandma's house and I was like, Do you have, she was like, Do you want to watch a movie? And I was like, Yeah, do you have Ariel? Right? And she's like, yeah, I do. I didn't know you liked that movie. I was like, it's my favorite movie, you know? And she's like, well, okay then. She had The Little Mermaid, the Grimm Brothers version, oh where she turns heavens. to sea foam in the end. And I was just like, oh, I cried for like days. I was like, mom, Ariel died. I don't understand. <laughs> The sea witch was so much more terrifying. It was very dark. I was just, it was, it was a traumatic experience. Um, but can you still watch the original? Well, yeah. Okay. For those of you in the audience, I want to know if this is just a me phenomenon. I loved it growing up. After I turned sixteen, like stopped watching it daily uh -huh. when I was like twelve, and then, um, <laughs> and then I watched it again for the first time after like a couple year hiatus, uh -huh. my freshman year of college. And I was like, why did I like her? She's horrible. She's oh. this line where she's like, Daddy, I'm 16. I can do what I want. And I'm like, no. Shut up. And whole song where Go it's like, home. I want more. Like, yeah. <laughs> look at all this stuff, all these treasures. But it's not enough. <laughs> I know. Like, like I just... Talk about a spoiled brat. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. but I just... We see these movies differently. I, I was like, I was like... What was I doing? What was young me thinking? Because it wasn't good. Well, Maybe you just but... really wanted to be a mermaid. Honestly, that is true. I, I really, I just that's wanted why, to swim. That's why I like Tinkerbell so much. I was just like, I just want to fly. Be a little fairy. But then I was like, also, yeah, if you don't rude. get attention, do you die? Because, like, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that on a personal level. <laughs> but I have one more question for the audience. Because I've recently, uh -huh. when, I, when I grew up, I had lots of younger siblings. And so I never watched horror movies. Like, uh -huh. until college, I'd never seen a horror movie. Period. Um, and now I'm trying to like consume them, but a lot of them are like campy, a lot, like I've seen like the Friday the 13th movies sure. and, um, the uh, Dream, Freddy Krueger. There you go. A bunch of those. We'll do that one. Yeah. I, um, I read horror though and I like horror, but like the horror that I like is like suspenseful, psychological, uh -huh. things that could really happen. Um, and I haven't really found any horror movies like that. Like there's jump scares. But like Saw, I watched last year, and I was like, "This isn't scary. This is just sad." Yeah, Saw's <laughs> like, a quiet place. That that could happen. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, sounds, but, sounds like you need to watch quiet, Jacob's Ladder. Yeah, a quiet place That's I watched, and I didn't really. It wasn't that great for me. I've seen, um, Have you seen Us. Hush? I've seen Hush. Yeah, those like I just. What's I feel like I would do things differently, so like yeah. it's, I'm not really that scared. Like I like I like Stephen King hole. things, and, um, and they go back. like yes. the That's darkness right. of the and human. We're, the we're losing control of the of the discussion. Sorry. Go ahead, finish finish the thought, and then we'll go to Will. 
Darkness Will's of the poor, human condition. Will's chomping at the bit because he. No. Because we're talking about movies. <laughs> so basically, for those in the audience, if you could comment the scariest human condition movies that you have seen, I would love to watch them, and I will add them to my list. Very good. But yeah. Well, scariest <laughs> film. Wait, Zach, did you go? An, an inconvenient truth. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I think. The best horror movie, it, it's cliche, but I do think the best horror movie of all time is The Exorcist. I think it's so well made, it's so well acted, written. Like, it's just terrific on every level. I, I would say it's like one of the ten greatest films ever made. Now, horror's my favorite genre, so I've seen a lot of them. And I love a lot of them. You know, like Nightmare on Elm Street is terrific. The sure. Evil, Evil Dead, all of them I think are so great. I think they're amazing. Um, yeah, Army of Darkness is a really good one. Army of Darkness is my yeah. favorite of them. Um, it's not really horror, it's more comedy, but uh -huh. still. Uh, yeah, how, specifically the first Halloween. But I did have my favorite one stolen by Annie. My favorite We don't and talk about this before. Yes, yeah, I, I, I think the scariest movie I've ever seen actually is, and it's my favorite, is The Blair Witch Project. You know, a lot of people don't like it because. A lot of people hate it. Because they think it. there's not enough in the end, but there's it's enough bad. in the end that's terrifying. It's terrifying. So I, know, so I saw it for the first time when I was in sixth grade. Um, this is when I was really getting into horror movies. I was watching like a lot of the classics. I saw Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the Thirteenth, The Omen, stuff like that. The Amityville Horror. So I'm like, this isn't really scary, you know. And my dad told me about this movie called The Blair Witch Project. <laughs> you know, he's like, well, it, you know, it, it's true, it's real, you know. This really oh, happened. Boy. Now, sixth grade Will clearly wasn't very smart and didn't think, yeah, because they really put out movies in theaters, you know, where people actually go missing and never, you know, come back. But I remember watching that and just being kind of in shock when it ended and just being like this. What? That is the... I don't get scared by horror movies. I really, really don't. Except this one. This movie actually affected me. The closest I'd say other than that would be Hereditary that came out last year, which I thought was fairly effective. And it's very similar to the slow burn, you know, takes a while. But yes, in the, you know, the no. next saw. Uh, but the Blair Witch Project for about a week. Yeah, that was. And I have Woods in the back of my house as well. That movie. I, I Should I have given any spoiler alerts? Did we have any spoilers? I don't think so. No. Anything we've okay. said, you can see in the... Not haven't been out for a long time anyway. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that is been out for too. 20 years. The, one of the things, and I'll just kind of finish up with this, is that we've all seen different films, too. Because somebody will say something in class. Like, I, I think a scary movie. I, I've turned off seven before. Okay. That's, that's yeah. That's real. Yeah. And, I have, uh, I'll, somebody will say something about a box, and I'll be like, what's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? That's me acting. <laughs> and uh, it goes over like a whole, yeah, I know. I mean, <laughs> this is for YouTube. Yeah. Uh, some people think it's absolutely ridiculously, like, relevant, and then other people are like, what the hell is he talking about the box? So, uh, so C would you say C seven or not? absolutely? It's terrific, David Fincher movie. It's not horror, but it's really oh, great. it's pretty scary. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's horror. How many movies would you encourage people not to see? Though I feel like you encourage movies. <laughs> no, I I'm I'm kind of a snob. It's just we talk about good movies. We talk about the good ones. I was actually gonna joke really about Mirrors if you hadn't seen. It. I was gonna say actually the scariest thing about it is how bad it is. But. Well. Yeah, it wasn't the commercial was worse than yeah. the movie, so. So if you have a favorite scary film, please leave that in the comments. But like and subscribe, and we thank you for watching our video. Okay. <laughs>